Oh, he is fighting. There we go, guys. Tank, baby. Welcome back, guys, to another episode. I didn't think I would be fishing today because this morning it was about 22 degrees, maybe one of the coldest days in Florida. But it is the afternoon and temperatures came up a little bit to the 30s. I know, I don't know what I'm doing out here. I can't feel my fingers, but I got some gloves. I had to bring out my big ultra thick winter jacket for these fish today. So hopefully I do get on some fish. I happen to have some live shrimp that I just got from Lost Key Bait and Tackle. So hopefully I do get on some fish. I'll be showing you guys what I'm using and how I'm using these live shrimp for what I'm targeting today, which I'm hoping to get on some sheep heads today. So if it's your first time, visiting my channel help me out hit the subscribe button hit that thumbs up if you guys enjoyed this episode so enough talking i'm gonna get out there and hopefully get on some fish for y'all all right let's go get started this afternoon so managed to get some live shrimp from lost key bait and tackle located here in Petito key florida drove back to this bridge set up right now but i'm trying something new today and actually it's been working for me um today actually just got on one sheep head, but i'm gonna show you guys what i'm using now this is something you guys could try when nothing is biting what i mean by is i'm Fishing ultra light today with 12 pound floral. Now you are gonna get caught off, but you will increase your chances of catching more sheephead. This is something you guys can try when fishing for the sheep. Another trick is cutting off the tail. What this does is create scent for these fish and uh, definitely will help you. So we're gonna put it to this test today, see if we get on some more sheephead with this ultra light gear and i'm fishing with the frisky fin sheephead jigs these jigs this year have been just amazing if you guys have been watching my last few episodes targeting the sheephead these jigs have definitely put in some work i'll be leaving the link down below if you guys want to check them out and order some and of course i'm using my tasking 3000 and actually my parage casking rod that i'm trying now i will be having an review on this rod today probably in the next few weeks or maybe i'm trying to catch up on a few episodes for y'all so hopefully uh i am getting on some sheep head i am letting it go all the way to the bottom and working it slowly every one to two minutes see if that does the trick today let's see if we get one guys Missed one right now, but we'll see if we get them right now again. Going all the way to the bottom, like I told you guys. Letting it sit on the ground. That's why I love these sheep heads. There it is. There it goes, guys. Let's see if we get them. All right, guys, we're on. We're on one. We are on one, guys. He is fighting. But he's on. There we go. On the new casking rod. Ooh, he is fighting. There we go, guys. Tank, baby. Tank. Joe, where you at, Joe? Look at that, guys. Tank. Woo. We got him. We got him. I'm gonna get the net right now, guys. Oh man. Oh man. There we go, we're getting the day started, guys. There he is right there. Don't want to lose this one. 
We're fishing them. Woo. There we go, guys. There we go. Oh, getting the day started, guys. Look at this. Here we are. Oh, man. It is worth it. It's about 30 degrees right now, guys. But this is all worth it. This nice sheep pen to start off the day on some live shrimp. Right there, frisky fins, sheep head jigs. Nice sheep head right here with a brand new casking rod and the casking 3000. Let's see. It is first one up 16 inches, guys. 16 inches, 16. Starting off the day right. Here we go guys there we go about time guys there it is god these sheep heads that they have messed me up lost a lot of shrimp already but uh, it is worth it right here 12 pound uh, 12 pound line with the frisky fins sheep head jigs there you go guys there it is we are guys right there there we are but there's nothing biting 12 pound leader line yeah you will get cut off but at least you will get some bite so we didn't get cut off and we'll throw right down there and i'm using the frisky fence sheep head jig there it is All right, everybody, as you can see, the guy next to me was getting water into his John boat. Wind temperature had changed. It went from 15 to 20 to 25 mile per hour. That is why I'm showing you guys. As you can see, the water starting to move and behind me starting to get real rough. I was out in my kayak, so I had to make sure I was safe and getting back on land. I fished for about two hours, though. I still got on some good sheephead, and this is why I'm doing this voiceover. So if you guys get caught out there, and that wind, make sure you guys head back, especially being on the kayak, guys. Be careful out there, especially with those wind conditions changing. All right, guys, just made it back. Had to get out of there. It was a little bit rough out there. So, point of this video is when you're not catching sheephead, if you're not catching them on 20 pound or 15 pound, go all the way to 12 pound test line. That really made the difference today on getting on the sheephead. And then you're catching three sheephead, didn't get the chance to record the third one because I was trying to I was trying to put on my camera but ended up throwing back he on it was barely over 12 inches so I threw him back we ended up catching keeping two today so decided to do a catch and cook since we basically almost couldn't fish today so I'm gonna get into showing you guys what I will be showing you this recipe that's a little bit different maybe you've not seen it so if you guys want to give it a try with your kids or family or friends coming over uh you can show it to them. So let's get into it. Let me tell you guys what and how I am making this catch and cook sheep head recipe for y'all. I'm making today sheep head bacon wrap sheep head. What I'm gonna be using is, of course, some bacon, some seafood magic. We try to make magic today happen with this sheep head. And of course, I already cleaned up the sheep head as you can see right here, guys. It is just beautiful. Some call it the poor man's lobster or some other call it tastes like lobster. So it's a different. And we're using a bit, little bit of a pink Himalayan salt to give it a little bit of flavor. But that's all we're using. I'm gonna be showing you guys, let's get into it. What I wanna do, what you guys wanna do is show. Not too much seasoning. Since we're all gonna use the bacon, get it both sides. That's it, bomb. Make sure it has a seasoning. Turn it around to the other side. Like I told you guys, it's a simple yet delicious recipe. You guys want to try for your kids or if, just for yourself at home. Something different from the regular sheep head tacos or seasoned tacos. There we go. Now, one more thing we're going to add. This is a real simple but yet delicious recipe you guys can try. Trust me, I've already had it. 
last week. That's why I decided to share it with y'all. And there we go, pink Himalayan salt, just a tad bit. And uh, last but not least, we're gonna wrap it in bacon. Let me show you guys how I am doing it, right? Now, this is what I'm gonna be doing. Actually cutting it into two pieces. How you guys can do right here? Two pieces. This way you have enough. And there it is right there. Quick but simple. Look at this, guys. You, anybody of y'all could try it at home. Wrap it in bacon. One here. And one the other side. And there it is. Set the toothpicks. You definitely need some toothpicks on for this. Now today we're gonna keep it healthy. We're gonna keep it real healthy and actually put this on the grill. Oh, it's gonna be delicious. Let it cook truly on the grill. There it is right here. And one more toothpick. And there it is. Number one. You see, we're gonna fill this up and we'll meet you guys on the grill outside. All right, guys. We folded up all the sheep head. Now, one little thing before we put it on the grill and walk outside is use this uh, seafood magic and give it a little bit of, uh, not too much, on top of the bacon. We wanna make sure we get as much flavor as possible on this sheep egg. We're gonna walk outside, meet you guys outside, put it on the grill, and show the last process of this. All right, y'all. You guys are hungry, because I am hungry too. There it is, we're gonna set it right here, put it on the grill for you guys. We got the grill ready to go. We're gonna put it now one by one on the grill. Let them cook that bacon. Oh, you guys can hear that. Make sure all the toothpicks go through on the bacon. Once it does, we'll turn it around the other side. And that's it. We'll meet you guys down when it's done in the kitchen. All right, guys. Sheep head wrapped bacon is done. There we are, we're gonna get it. We're gonna do a taste test actually with Keith. He did beat me the last time. I'm still waiting for my rematch on the sheep head fishing. So what better way than to get him on the camera? We're gonna be trying that out for y'all. And if you guys wanna try it with your family members, friends, kids, give this recipe a try. You guys won't regret it. So we're gonna show you guys our taste test. Let's go. You guys ready? We got Keith here, and I am myself gonna try this bacon wrap. Oh my God, I can't wait. But to be honest with you guys, I'm starving after a long day of fishing, so this is definitely the reward out there. Bacon wrap. Mm -hmm. That is excellent. All right, guys, we're gonna get out of here. We're gonna enjoy some family time. Hope you guys enjoy this episode. We'll see you guys next week on the next adventure. Get out there, go fishing safely. See you guys next time. There you go. That's my new favorite way of doing it. Pretty good. All right, thumbs up. Two thumbs up. All right.